In this video, I'm gonna be going through six different ways you can make your 2023 more productive and hopefully easier going forward throughout the rest of the year and not just 2023. Hopefully these things can help you beyond. Of course, I know this is like an investing channel, not really like a lifestyle blogging channel, but hopefully these points will help you out. And one of them is financial and it's my sort of top number one finance tip. That's point number five, so stick around for that. And of course, subscribe and hit notification bell so you never miss a video from this channel. Number one is use Notion. So Notion is essentially the app I use to run my life from. A lot of YouTubers, very big YouTubers, talk about it and you know have massive sort of like sponsorship deals with them i don't yet but i essentially use notion really for everything i track all my personal stuff on there all my making money simple stuff on there the brands that i'm talking to if i do a brand deal i use it to track like my journals and diary to track my sort of youtube videos that are coming out the scripts different podcast episodes all my important like affiliate links are on there so i can access them easily i have like a reminder list so i know sort of what's coming up on each day i don't use it for a calendar but you can also use it for a calendar essentially it's like an all-in-one app to do everything on before that i use like some things on post-it notes some things on my notes app some things just randomly jotted around so i sort of use this to streamline just managing my my sort of personal life and the making money simple stuff so i'd recommend just giving it a go if you haven't tried it and if you don't like it just don't use it but what probably will happen is you will start using it and then just get in a hole for like a week where you just customize it and put everything in there um, that's what i found anyway but yeah that's tip number one use notion tip number two to make your life a bit easier and more productive is if it takes less than 10 minutes just do it now normally this tip is if we take less than two minutes, do it now. But I think less than 10 minutes, you know, things that maybe take longer than two minutes, but more than 10 minutes might be doing some ironing, might be, for example, recording a YouTube video. If it's sort of in between that two to 10 minute time frame, you can end up putting it off for weeks and weeks and it just sits on your to-do list. I know I do that myself. So I would say it takes less than 10 minutes. Just get it done now, get it out of the way. Just do it! Don't even add it to your to-do list because it's just going to keep growing and be never-ending. If it takes less than 10 minutes, don't add it to there. Just get it done as soon as possible. Number three, and this has been a huge win or W for me over the last sort of year, 18 months since I discovered it, but it's on your phone using airplay mode or focus mode. As you can see now, I've actually got focus mode on my phone. So to see my notifications, I still have to scroll down and then see what's there. I have essentially set up my focus mode, so I think it's on from like 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. And the only notifications that come through are stuff from my family and stuff from Notion, because that's my reminders on it. So that's essentially all that comes through. Everything else, I have to manually go onto my phone, scroll down and see. I found that when you're you know, at home, out and about, your phone's always flashing, always beeping, and it's so easy just to check it for five seconds, but then you lose your trail of thought, whatever you're doing, you forget, you become less productive. So using focus mode or airplay mode similar, but using that focus do not disturb mode has been a massive productivity hack for me, because it means I'm not constantly looking at my phone, I'm not checking my phone, and if my phone does buzz, I know it's either my family or it's a reminder. So then I will actually check it when it buzzes. But other than that, it doesn't buzz. So use focus mode. Number four, another pretty big one and something I actually need to do for this year. I've done it sort of this time last year is unsubscribe from pointless emails. There are a lot of sort of maybe newsletters you signed up to that you want to unsubscribe from. Actually, that's just reminding me. I have my own newsletter where I release monthly newsletters. I'll leave it in the description if you want to sign up comes out once a month it's relatively short some financial education some update on news so yeah of course subscribe to that newsletter and don't unsubscribe but over the course of a year you'll subscribe to so many newsletters marketing lists maybe at a shop you signed up to their like mailing list so you can get a discount at the time i would say either go through your emails and unsubscribe from all the crap that you have or when something comes through if you just delete it instantly and it keeps coming through just scroll to the bottom unsubscribe and it just saves you that sort of 30 second hassle of you know going on your emails quickly skimming it deleting it if you don't want the email or don't want to be on that mailing list just unsubscribe it will declutter your inbox and it just means you have sort of less admin faff to go through each day number five and this is the finance one my number one finance tip automate as much as possible when it comes to your finances you know set up a direct debit for your rent for your bills set up automatic investments and savings really as much as you can paying insurance transferring money to sinking funds paying off your credit cards in full there is so much using sort of debit cards and credit cards now we can automate the more you can automate 
not only is it definitely gonna happen, because if you've done it manually, there's a risk that you might not invest or might not save. If it's automatic, then it definitely will happen. But also, it just frees up your time. You've not got to log on every day or every week or every month and manually make payments and transfer stuff and pay bills. It will just come out automatically and makes your life easier and in my opinion, more productive because you're not then faffing around once again. And a lot of these tips really are just reducing faff to make your life easier and a bit more productive so you can focus on doing what you actually want rather than just doing sort of mean, meaningless, tedious tasks um, day to day. Number six, and this is called Eat the Frog. I don't know where it came from or what essentially it is, but what it was all about is essentially doing the hardest thing or the thing you most don't wanna do first Get it out of the day early, such as eating an actual real life frog. It's some real story from somewhere. You can probably Google it and then find it. Um, but yeah, for example, for me, this is like fitness or gym. I do these classes and they're in the mornings or the evenings. Often I will just try and go in the evenings, but there's some evenings where I then end up don't going because I'm too busy at work or end up going out or missing it or whatever. But by doing it in the morning, you're getting the hardest thing done. So whether that's going to the gym, whether that's maybe you're working on some content and it's making that content, whether it's making a phone call to sort something out, just get it done early in the morning, each day, whatever it is. So then that hard thing is done. And not only is then the hardest bit of your day done, you then have actually accomplished something even though the rest of the day doesn't go very well. So yeah, that was a quick video about six ways to be more productive and hopefully make your life easier in 2023. If you have any more tips, please let us know in the comments below and we can obviously share more tips together um, and hopefully if that good i can also implement them in my sort of 2023 routine um, but yeah thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next video